Wait, do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's three, buddy. Did you do coke? Why are we up? Yeah, that's funny, huh? <laughs> okay, let's go to bed, goofy boy. Hey, so I slept about three hours last night. It's about 8 a.m., 8.15 or whatever. And why am I up this early? Where am I going? Come on, let's go. I'm trying, this is fake enthusiasm. I'm so tired. Oh my god. So, why am I up at 8 a.m. when I've only slept for three hours and I'm dressed in a super wrinkly collared shirt and I'm drinking iced tea because I got big news. No, that's, that's not the big news. I got a job. No, not there. When we first got pregnant, Caitlin and I decided that I needed a full-time job. I had been freelancing for a couple of years, but we needed steadier income than, say, making $400 a month dressed as a garbage bag for Grubhub. New York City, man. They have all the jobs. So I was looking for work, I was sending out resumes, I met with Fatherly, I made the dude to dad pilot, and then they offered me a full-time job. You might see me popping up different places in the channel, hosting stuff. I love Fatherly, so it's gonna be great to make more content for them. Like and subscribe, hashtag Fatherly, all that good stuff. But in the span of a month, I had a new kid, a new job, and my wife was diagnosed with postpartum anxiety. I haven't worked in an office environment in three years, and I don't sleep anymore. That's a lot of lifestyle changes. I mean, I had totally forgotten what office life was like. I had forgotten about the quiet, the commute, that little half smile you make when you have to go to the bathroom and you make eye contact with someone who you kind of don't know, but you know works there, so you just make that little weird half smile. I mean, the truth is, I don't really know how I feel about having a full-time job at this moment right now when I just had a son. Pros. I'm lucky to be employed. I get steady income. I get a ton of awesome fatherly advice. My wife is happy. Fatherly has a fridge fully stocked with LaCroix. Cons. I don't get to see Rory. I think I would have liked being a stay-at-home dad. I don't think I actually like LaCroix. It kind of tastes like bubbly candles. I mean, this is the parental paradox. Was it better for me to have freelanced so that I could have been like a stay-at-home dad and seen my kid more? Or is it better to have that full-time income coming in, but I only see him about an hour a day? I think this is like one of those questions that doesn't have a good answer. Mm. Ugh. I mean, it's like drinking perfume. I don't get it. The truth of the matter is, it doesn't really matter what I want anymore. Because babies cost money. So guess what, dum-dum? You're working. And I'm lucky. It's a cool job, I get to do a cool thing. And I get to involve my kid. The best part is, at the end of the day, I get to come home to this.
I'm still tired as fuck. Good morning, good morning, rise and shine. All the world is feeling far. Like and subscribe for more Dude to Dad videos every Sunday on Fatherly. Rise and shine.